Hello again. You're going to see some of the last flights, display flights of the GB2 flown by Delmar Benjamin from the United States. Delmar came to Germany on the invitation of Fiber Classics, a manufacturer for model aeroplane kits. The show took place in Michelstadt and uh, we are going to join it on Friday the 9th of August 2001 when Delmar flew in from Mannheim Who knows more about the GB than I do? <laughs> I think you know a lot of Delmar. Yes, a lot about Delmar. And about, there's history from the 1930s, and then there's history in the 1990s, you when he's been flying. Well. Yes, but there was a time where I didn't even know what a GB was. Yeah, so, that's, that's what I assume. Yes, but um, it's fun. We like to travel to the shows and meet all the different people. And it's just amazing to think, like, here in Germany, there are so many GB fans. Here he comes, accompanied by a twin Cessna. This is an approval flight for the air safety inspector before the demonstration can take place the next two days in front of big crowds. Denver Benjamin is flying this air racer in a way the pilots who flew the original in 1931-32 could have never imagined. Look at the rolling. This was not possible on the original plane, or at least the pilots did not wish to try it. No more talk. Let's listen to the multi-cylinder radial engine. Enjoy. Here we are now on the following day for the first demonstration flight in front of a big enjoy. Herzlich willkommen, meine Damen und Herren, hier die TP. Dieses Ding fliegt tatsächlich. Jetzt haben Sie es alle gesehen. In den 30er Jahren bauten die Granville Brothers fünf Leute, diese Maschinen. Und daher kommt auch der Name GB, steht für Granville Brothers, GB. There are two armies.
Wir wollen das nicht glauben, wir wollen das nicht probieren. The GPUC flown here today is a replica built to the exact specifications as the original by Delmar and Steve Wolf in Crestwell, Oregon. Steve Wolf and Delmar Benjamin built this machine. And they would not let anyone use the plans to build a flying replica. But the museum was building one for display purposes only. Delmar and Steve visited the museum and took pictures and measurements of it. Der kommt noch mal vorbei. Also, die Augen rechts und wehe, er kommt nicht. Oh, der kommt was? Der wird doch nicht lang. Der wird doch nicht lang. Der wird doch nicht lang. Ja! Oh, den mal durch den Fuß, den Fuß, den Fuß, den Fuß, den Fuß, in slow motion, we can see that an incident happened at touchdown during the landing. You can see Delmar and his wife are uh, very shocked about this happening. Um, he had not planned to land and was not being made aware because of this 
uh, that the end of the runway downhill was sticking up the concrete was sticking up slightly and this is where the left wheel hit the plane will be going into the hangar being checked out by safety officers and some engineers from Lufthansa came along to uh, repair the damage overnight. Here we have some uh, close-ups of the WASP Pratt & Whitney radial engine powering the uh, GB2. Meanwhile, uh, Delma and his family are going to the end of the runway to see whether any parts can be rescued. And here we see a model GB flown. The kit is from Fiber Classics. And it also shows us how easy it is to nose over not only the model, but the full size as well. And it shows the skill Delma applied for saving himself and his plane. I did have the opportunity to get into the hangar after the plane, the GB2, was stripped for the repair. The left wing was taken off, the left undercarriage was taken off. And uh, as I said before, overnight the Lufthansa engineers managed to get everything uh, replaced or repaired and the plane being reassembled. Just uh, for those of you who are particularly interested, I took single frames as photos uh, to show these here. Again, it uh, may be boring for those people who only want to see the flying, but uh, it's my opinion that for the sake of a record, these are included in the video. So, whatever you think, enjoy as long as you can see these. And don't forget, the GB now is in a museum. It doesn't fly any longer. It uh, had approximately 1,480 hours when it came to Germany. And I understand that um, in the end, it had 1,500, 1,500 flying hours on the clock when it was retired. At a later time, the plane was rolled out of the hangar and checked by Delma and his wife. Here it was being fueled. And now we are ready for photo opportunity for those many people who like to have something to remember, and especially the day and the GB2. Whilst the photographers are busy, it gives us an opportunity to have a few close-ups on our video. We can also see the left undercarriage uh, without the um, spot because it would have taken at least a day, if not more, to produce a new one. Here, uh, Belmar is signing uh, the jacket of uh, my second uh, cameraman, James O'Brien, who, by the way, is nowadays a airline captain. There we are, James. Happy man. Hey.
We're waiting until we go over to, to Ireland for me to get my clotter ring. My dad's a jeweler. Oh, really? There you have it. There you have it. got a discount now. Okay. <laughs> no I'll post like, you some samples. We can trade like GB models. Das brachte natürlich viele kleine Flugzeugfirmen auf den Plan, die sich dann sehr schnell mit der Entwicklung von Rennflugzeugen befasst haben. Ein einziges gewonnenes Kotzen Race hat das Jahreseinkommen einer ganzen Firma damals bestätigt. The engine has been started and um, the plan is to do taxi trials and also fast taxi trials to assure that all the um, controls are functioning and that the repaired undercarriage does not affect the straight run needed for proper takeoff and safe takeoff. Und die haben 1932 ein Flugzeug gebaut, der Konstrukteur war damals sage und so und seine Büro und die GB gefüllt, der Reif wurde in Stand gesetzt, die Gabel wieder gerichtet und jetzt macht er immer hier Rollversuche auf der Wand. Well, I think it looks pretty good, don't you? I'm not the expert. <laughs> Stand von Freitag Classic und werden auch von Dilma Benjamin handschriftlich signiert. Als Erinnerung, als einmalige Erinnerung an diesen Flugtag hier in Mittelstadt. At the moment, a uh, model aeroplane flying takes place whilst the GB is being prepared for further trials. Um, in a minute, the commentator will tell us a bit about air races. <laughs> Und Sie müssen sich vorstellen, Sie sitzen auf einer riesigen Tribüne mitten in der Wüste, vor Ihnen eine große Landebahn und mitten im Gelände stehen westliche ja, Pylonen, Wendepunkte. Ja, so ähnlich, die sind sehr, sehr gut sichtbar. This was just a discussion between Delma and his wife regarding the forthcoming takeoff. This is going to be a tense moment um, because it is not quite clear whether the length of the runway will be sufficient for a safe takeoff.
this is a moment of truth. We are beginning to roll for hopefully a safe takeoff. Fantastic! This is fantastic. Well done, Delmar. And uh, now we will see a fantastic show, which uh, my friends in YouTube will see in the second part. Bye bye.